kit set up, you'll need four IBC tanks. You have two as the actual processing tanks and two as header tanks. Uh, ideally, you, you want the header tanks higher than the processing tanks, obviously, so you can use it as a gravity-fed system. But for example, in here, we don't have the headroom to do that. Um, so if that's the case, you'll need uh, an immersion pump in your header tanks, uh, which then, with pipework running up and obviously feeding to your processing tanks. This is for the water changes, because you'll need to, every two to three days, you'll need to do a 50% water change in your processing tanks to keep, all, to keep the water good, to stop it going anoxic, because that could damage the seeds potentially, uh, especially with all that organic matter in there rotting down. You need to keep the water really fresh. So once you've harvested your seeds, uh, they, all the flowering stems come in and they go into these IBC tanks where they're stored for up to a couple of months. And then they sit in here and the organic matter that kind of holds the seeds onto the flowering stems rots away and releases the seeds. And as they mature, they become ne negatively buoyant and so they'll sink down to the bottom of the tank uh, where you can use a square mouth net to scoop them out. Um, and at that point they go through the cleaning plant. We find here in the Loch Sarton, and you may well, that there's uh, loads of snake locks and anemones attached to the flowering stems. Uh, it's good to try and encourage the volunteers to try and gently remove those before they bring them in, but inevitably you're going to end up with some in your tanks. So if you've got some really keen volunteers, you can ask them to come in and very gently just pluck the, the, the anemones off the, uh, the, the, the seagrass and, and return them to the sea. So we're just going to siphon the water out of this tank, which is the one that we've got the seagrass in at the moment. So we have another immersion pump in one of the tanks, and the two tanks are actually connected. Uh, and then we just pump water up from the header tanks through the system, the overhead system, and then in to the processing tanks here for our water changes. Uh, we use uh, an immersion pump, uh, which we just carry out and plonk in the sea at high tide to fill the header tanks when required. By having the header tanks, it means that you don't need to refill the tanks every time you come in. Uh, you'll have a, you have a bit of a buffer, so you only need to fire the pumps up from the sea uh, every sort of second or third time you come in. Okay, so this is uh, so it's just a stainless steel portable submersible pump, which is what you want for pumping your water up to your header tanks from the seat. Just put that there for now. We've had the seagrass in the tank for a couple of months now. Um, we've been doing occasional sweeps to uh, pick up the seeds that are there. Uh, the process is pretty simple. So by this stage, the seagrass has broken down pretty well. And you can see that it's quite well rotted. It's quite brown, uh, which, is, which means that the, the seeds have been released. So the little seed pods have softened and, and the, the seeds have all, have all sunk to the bottom of the tank. So the process that we normally do here is I just scoop out all this lot and stick it in the other tank just to get it out of the way. Uh, and then that'll leave us free to sweep the net around the bottom of the tank to pick up the seeds, which will be down there. So 
So what we've got here is uh, just a quarter inch garden sieve um, and what the stuff that you scooped out the bottom of the tank, you just plonk it in. And then grab a jug or a bucket or something. And then you're just, just pouring the water over it to rinse the seeds through, through the seagrass into the bucket. Okay, and then the stuff that you've rinsed through. There might be a little, there might be a few seeds still attached to some of the spades in the waste that's left in the sieve. So you just want to plonk that back in your other tank. And once you've got a full bucket of water, you grab another wee net and stick all that water through the net. Well, round, pick up the seeds. And once that's all drained through, you see, you'd be left with this kind of gunky mixture of uh, of muck and a few blades that have got through, and the seed. So we'll just pop that out the net into a bowl on the side, being careful not to drop any seeds. Okay, so once you've got all your, all your material gathered out the net, the sort of mucky mixture of seeds and bits of seagrass and stuff, you just put some of it into Another, another wee bowl. And then if you do this over a bucket, which will become clear in a minute, it's better than doing it in the tank. So this is just seawater out of the tank. Uh, and you just gently let it flow in. It's just panning, really. Just like you're panning for gold or something. To start with, if you go quite carefully, because the mixture is so thick in there that a lot... that viable seed can get swept out with it so it takes a bit, of, a bit of patience just to start with it's just gently pouring the water off so that the muck comes out and the viable seeds are negatively buoyant so they'll sit in the bottom of the bowl and in theory shouldn't come out with the water So any seeds that you can see flowing out there will be, won't be viable if they're floating then they're not really viable. And once you think you've got rid of most of the non-viable ones, you've got mostly dark coloured ones left, then we've been just using a net, one of these reusable veggie nets that you get in the supermarket and we just pop pop the seeds in that and then you can just hang that in your tank uh, to make sure that the seeds stay good uh, and they should be fine in there until you plant them out. So then when it comes to the final empty of the tanks um, to make sure you get all the seeds out the bottom. Uh, we've installed these four inch pipes which are mounted in, in the bottom of the tanks uh, and these big ball valves. Um, and you connect pipes up to these and, and run them out, out of the, uh, the shed, the sort of wastewater area. Uh, and you can put the big, big fine mesh bags over the end of the pipes and, and just open it up and give the tanks a stir uh, to allow all the seeds to flush through uh, and then that then be caught in the uh, in the mesh bags. So make sure you get everything out the bottom of the tank. <laughs> 